Knowles on the News. Susan Knowles. So this week on Wednesday, we celebrate Veterans Day. Now, what does Veterans Day mean to you? Well, for many people, it means school's out or there's a sale at the mall. But in reality, it's a day to celebrate and honor America's veterans for their patriotism, their love of country, and their willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. You know, if we left it up to the mainstream media, we probably wouldn't even know what day it was or that it had any significance whatsoever. But it has great significance. It's a time that we get to honor those people who basically have laid down their lives so that you and I could enjoy our freedoms. And it's a day that we should remember, I think, 365 days a year. Because I think we take it for granted that we live in a country where we still are free. That we live in a country where our veterans make it so that you and I don't live under the rule of a king. But we live in a republic. And I hope you'll take this time and this opportunity this Wednesday to try to find a veteran or service member and tell them how much you appreciate what they do for you. And I know a lot of times they don't want you to make a fuss about them. They don't want you to come up and say thank you because it's sort of an embarrassment to them. Because to them, you know, they're just doing what they get paid to do and they're doing it because they love to serve their country. But there's another thing that you can do, and I'm offering this suggestion for you. I've done it a couple of times myself, and I really, really enjoy doing this because I think it really matters to the service member. What I do is I go into a restaurant or coffee shop. I look for somebody that looks like they're in the military, and I tell the cashier, hey, you know what? I would like to pay for that service member's lunch or dinner, coffee, or whatever the case may be. And it's something where you're not going to tell the service member that you're doing it, but it just later on, you know, when the cashier comes and says, your meal is paid for, I know deep down inside that they are grateful, that they know that somebody has remembered them, that somebody appreciates the fact that they do what they do. And it makes it all worthwhile. That simple act of kindness can mean so much to a veteran I think so often we just absolutely forget what they do for us and how important that they are. And I know that you know that our veterans aren't getting the care that they deserve in the VA. Now, we've heard a lot of talk about, oh, the VA has a lot of problems, but don't worry, they're getting fixed. Well, and talking to veterans, I know that the problems are not getting fixed. That's something that the mainstream media would love for you to believe, but it just isn't true. And we need to do something this year, beginning on Wednesday, to help our veterans get the care that they so richly deserve after defending our country, and a lot of times even those people who have lost limbs defending our rights over here. We've got to stand up. We've got to, just like what they've done for us, we have to be there for them now. We have to say, no more. You know, our mainstream media tries to make it out that everything is fine. Some people in Congress don't even mention it, and it's ridiculous. Everybody knows there's a problem. It's that big elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. Well, it's time. This week can be that new beginning when we say to the VA, no more. Give our veterans what they deserve. Give them the health care. Give them the psychological care. Give them everything that they earned while they were over serving our country in whatever foreign land or right here in the United States. They shouldn't even have to ask for it. They shouldn't even be having these problems. But, you know, ever since I can remember, the VA has been this way. Nothing has changed. We can't leave it to the VA to fix it because, you know what, I don't think they know how to fix it. It's going to take more than the VA You know, we have to quit looking for everybody else to solve the problems. We can solve the problems. We have the ability, and all of us together know exactly what we need to do. And we know when something isn't working, but you know what? We know when something needs to be fixed, and we know how to fix it. 
We can call on our congressmen and women and say, look, we've had enough. You need to fix this and you need to fix it now. No more talk. No more just giving it to one person to decide what's going to be done and who's going to be fired and how things are going to be changed. No, it's going to take a lot more than that. And there are a lot of people out there willing to step up and do the right thing and help the veterans. You know, there are a lot of veterans groups out there right now that are helping the homeless veterans get off the streets along with civilian volunteers working together to fix the problem that nobody else knew how to fix. And you know why? Because they had the heart and the mind and the soul coming together to ensure that these homeless veterans got what they deserved. And those veterans are sitting out there. Those are the ones that need to be taken care of by the VA. Those are the ones that need the health care, that need the housing, that need the psychological care, everything that we can provide them. They are in need, and they need to be helped. And I think we forget about those people because it's out of sight, out of mind. They're living in the woods. They're living in parks. They're living next to dumpsters. You know, these are people that went off and served for us and came back, and now this is what they get. And they're being beaten up each and every night by people who want to take what little money they have away from them as they're living off the streets. We have got to stop this. It is time for us to stand up for them just like they have stood up for us. You and I can be their voices Whether we're standing along next to them at a VA hospital holding a sign or whether we're standing next to them praying for them and helping them each and every day get what they need and helping them get off the streets, you and I can do that. It just takes one person standing next to another person to get something started. Join with me, if you will. Let's make this year the best year ever for our veterans. Let's not just make it one day. Let's make it a whole year and more. Until next time, it's Susan Knowles with Knowles on the News.